After the Euromaidan, many long-term goals of the movement in the Ukraine have not been reached. While the comprehensive police reform is being hailed as a success, many citizens believe that numerous politicians are still living in a corrupt world. But things are changing. A few years ago, uh, it was very, very much centralized. So uh, it was coming from the president and it was a central vertical. And the aim was to take money out of the companies, out of the country and to put them on top. Well, now we are on this transmission process when we have to ruin uh, the old schemes and to build the clear rules of the game and to build a transparent system in every area of uh, the management of the country. The Euromaidan started in Kiev in November 2013 with public protests against the policies of President Viktor Yanukovych. He had refused to sign the agreed-upon association agreement between the Ukraine and the European Union. When police attempted to end the protests in the following weeks by force, a never-before-seen mass movement emerged, calling for Yanukovych's resignation, new elections and the signing of the agreement. These short-term demands were finally met in February 2014, following the creation of an interim government after the disempowered president fled the country. Die Menschen hatten sehr lange drauf gehofft, naja, wenigstens das Assoziations- und Freihandelsabkommen mit der EU, das wird er ja weiter verhandeln. Das hatte ja schon 2007 angefangen, über alle Regierungen hinweg, inklusive Janukowitsch, war das ja die gemeinsame Geschäftsgrundlage und dann hatte er dann kurz vor dem Gipfel in Vilnius Ende 2013 ja gesagt, nee, ich unterschreibe nicht auf Moskauer Druck. To this day, Ukrainians connect the five month protests, which have entered the annals of the country's history as a revolution of dignity with further demands. It was important for us uh, and we came to protest for standing for our right to choose our own destiny. And this is definitely still in our hands. These center around accession to the European Union, elimination of corruption and the protection of the right to protest, which Yanukovych had repeatedly violated. Es ist nicht äh, alles umgeschmissen worden, also es ist nicht so, dass die politischen Parteien nicht mehr da wären, die es vorher gab, bis auf die Partei der Regionen, das ist die Partei von Yanukovych. Es ist nicht so, dass plötzlich alle alten Oligarchen weg wären, nein, das ist nicht der Fall, aber es wird hier anders diskutiert. The Euromaidan's biggest success since overthrowing Yanukovych is the big police reform in the Ukraine. The government of new president Petro Poroshenko has cracked down hard on a police force that was largely involved in corrupt practices and responsible for the intimidation of protesters. An entirely new 2,000-member police force was created in the capital Kiev. Less than 5% of these police officers were already employed before the Euromaidan. In addition, salaries for police were increased. Ukrainian officers are now able to support themselves with their wages. The supporters of the Euromaidan, who used to live in fear of corrupt officers, are proud of the new reform. And some of them even euphorically celebrate the new police force. The effective elimination of corruption has given Ukrainians the feeling that they no longer have to fear expressing their own opinions. It's slow, yeah, maybe it uh, will be faster, uh, but at least direction is, is correct, in my opinion. Euromaidan activist Pavlo Kaliuk sees his country on the right track, and Bodan Yaramenko of the Maidan of Foreign Affairs is satisfied as well. I see that the uh, ministers uh, and the politicians are becoming more accountable so, and more transparent. I have no doubts that uh, my kids have a future in this country because uh, at least it will be a transparent and free society. However, in the opinion of many citizens, the Euromaidan was far less successful in its fight against corrupt politicians. Although several anti-corruption laws have been enacted, the new government has barely taken any action regarding several oligarchs who have benefited from Viktor Yanukovych machinations. Complaints against corrupt businesses often come to nothing.
We have lots of journalists who are trying to investigate uh, corruption and sometimes they, it is not very well cooperated because, for example, they investigate some corruption scheme, it, uh, which they show the, it on t television and after that there is no reaction of the militia, police, and etc. and uh, other anti-corruption bodies and this anti-corruption case is just rising in the air. The wartime conditions in the eastern Ukraine and the resulting devastation of many places have left Ukrainians wondering whether the sacrifices of the Euromaidan have paid off. Some of the heroes of the initial protest movement were on the lists of different parties in the 2014 elections and entered parliament. Aside from Andrei Parubi, who was voted Speaker of the Parliament in April 2016, Few faces from the Euromaidan have attained important offices. In Parliament, the Euromaidan heroes with their humble lifestyles often appear isolated from the political elite living in luxury.